This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson arrays and for loops. Let's see what we got. Turning all the color LEDs on. Now that you know how to use a for loop to process all the elements in an array, you can turn on all the color LEDs much more easily than before. Do this over the next few levels. Okay, so this is going to save over the next few levels. Uh, you'll create an app that will control all the LEDs on your board. The first step is to wire up the buttons that turn. The first step is to wire up the buttons that turns all the LEDs on. Don't worry about the rest of the comments in the workspace. You'll work on those in later levels. Add an event handler for button on. Okay, so they must mean this button. So on event. Turn all of the color LEDs on. I guess that's where that will go. And then button on. I need to switch the ID to button on. Place a for loop in your event handler that repeats until it reaches the end of the array color LEDs. Okay, so we've seen this before. For loop. And then instead of telling it, remember a for loop, it's going to go until I is... It's going to go as long as this is true. So once I is 4 or greater, it stops running the code inside. Well, instead of saying 4, we want it to do it for the color LEDs. We already have the color LEDs in a list in an array named color LEDs. Oop, named color LEDs. So we want to just use the length of that like we've done before. And if that's not making sense, you want to go back through this lesson carefully. You could use my tutorials too, but you should know now. So we have this color LEDs array, and the array is tied to every single uh, LED on this board, right? And so each one has is like numbered, and it starts at 0 all the way to 9, because there's 10 LEDs, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This will get the length automatically, so we don't have to count it. And now it's going to run the code as many times as LEDs are on the board. What do we want to do with those LEDs? Inside the loop, call LEDs I, which is whatever LED we're currently on, dot on. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to drop that in. So color LEDs I, right? So this will start by going, okay. Variable i equals zero. As long as i is less than color LEDs dot length, I'm going to keep going, and it will get 10 for that. And then i plus plus is add one to i each time. So we're starting at zero. The zero LED is going to be the first LED on the board. It will turn on. Hits the bottom. Zero plus one, because i plus plus, zero plus one is one. So the first, the first LED, LED, one would then turn on. Then we hit the bottom, go back to the top. One, I, so one plus one is two. Now we drop down into our loop. Two, LED two at index two would actually be the third LED, and that's going to turn on, so on and so forth. All right, let's give this a shot. But uh, and it should turn them all because it's going to loop through all of them. Awesome. Yep, it loops through zero to the end of the list, turning each one on. Let's keep going. 